Hello students, welcome back to the next module of our chapter called Electrostatics. Now students, in the previous modules, we have discussed about the combination of capacitors. We have discussed combination of capacitors in series. Then we have discussed about combination of capacitors in parallel, right? Now students, in the previous modules, we have also derived the equation for equivalent capacitance of capacitors connected in series and capacitors connected in parallel. Now students, in this particular module, we will be revising what we have learned in the in case of grouping of capacitors or combination of capacitors. At the same time, we will be deriving a relation between n identical capacitors connected in series and n identical capacitors connected in parallel. Right? Now let us move further. Now what we have learned in the previous modules? In the previous modules, if I am having three capacitors connected in series, then the equivalent capacitance is given by 1 by Cs. It is equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3. And similarly, if I write it for two capacitors, this equation will become 1 upon Cs. It is equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2. Right? So what will I do? I will cross multiply over here. So what will I get? I will get 1 upon Cs. It is equal to what will I get? I will get C1 plus C2 upon C1, C2. Now I will take reciprocal of this particular equation. So what will I get? I will get C suffix S. It is equal to C1, C2 upon C1 plus C2. So student, this is nothing but the equivalent capacitance for two capacitors connected in series. Right? And what is the formula? It is the product of two capacities upon sum of two capacities. Right? It is only applicable for two capacitors only. Right? Not for the multiple capacitors. The equation will change. Right? Now let us move further. Now let's say students, if I am having n capacitors of capacities C1, C2, C3 and Cn connected in series, then the equivalent capacitance that is Cs of the combination is given by the equation 1 upon Cs it is equal to 1 upon C1 plus 1 upon C2 plus 1 upon C3 and this will go till 1 upon Cn right now let's say students if all the capacitors are identical right that means all of them are having same capacity so I can say C1 C2 C3 all of them will be equal to capital C so therefore this particular equation will become 1 upon Cs it is equal to 1 by C plus 1 by C plus 1 by C and it will go till n times, right? So, denominator is common, right? So, what will I get further? I'll get 1 upon Cs, it is equal to 1 plus 1 plus 1 up till n times in numerator upon capital C, right? Now, let us move further. What is addition of 1 n times? It will give me small n, right? So, therefore, I'll get 1 upon Cs, it is equal to small n upon C. Right? Now, I will take reciprocal of this. So, what will I get? I will get value of Cs and the value of Cs is capital C upon N where N represents the number of capacitors connected in series. Right? So, if N identical capacitors are connected in series, then the equivalent capacitance is C by N. So, let's say if I am connecting 4 capacitors, so the value of capacity will become C by 4. If I am connecting 100 capacitors of value C, then the capacity, resultant capacity will become C upon 100, right? Now let us move further. Now the way we have learned equation for capacitors in series, we have also learned the equation of capacitance, equivalent capacitance for capacitors connected in parallel. So for three capacitors, equation is Cp, it is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3. And similarly, if I want to write it for two capacitors, this equation is Cp, it is equal to C1 plus C2. Right? And similarly, I can write it for n capacitors having capacity C1, C2, C3 and Cn. It is given by the formula Cp it is equal to C1 plus C2 plus C3 up till Cn. Right? And let's say if all these capacitors are identical, that means value of C1, C2, C3 and Cn it is equal to capital C. So what will I get? I will get Cp it is equal to C plus C plus C up till n times. Right? So, if I add C n times, so what will I get? I will get n times capital C. So, therefore, Cp it is equal to n into capital C. Right? And this is nothing but the equivalent capacitance of n identical capacitors connected in parallel. Right? Now, let us move further. Now, we have learned if n identical capacitors are connected in series, then the equivalent capacity is given by C suffix S. It is equal to capital C upon N, where N represents the number of capacitors 
which are connected in series and similarly if n identical capacitors of capacity capital C are connected in parallel then the equivalent capacitance that is CP it is equal to n times capital C right now let us move further let us take ratio of CP upon CS right so what will I get I'll get CP upon CS it is equal to NC upon C by N right so I can cancel out C from there right so after cancelling out C I'll transfer N in the denominator to the numerator so what will I get CP upon CS it is equal to N square right so where N is the number of capacitors which were used in series and then in parallel so students if N identical capacitors are there each having capacity C if initially they are connected in parallel and then connected in series then the ratio of CP upon CS it is equal to N square students this relation is very important from the entrance point of view so make sure you're writing it down properly so students that's it for this particular module I'll see you in the next module till then keep learning